Today's Bible study is titled By the Works of the Law or by the Hearing of Faith. Paul has thus far addressed the reason and accord reached in the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council in Galatians 2 verses 1-10, and thereafter shown that he in no way was under the authority of the Apostle Peter or preaching the same message or audience as Peter in Galatians 2 verses 11-21. In fact, quite the contrary, Paul has shown that Peter's calling and gospel was apparently paused as evidenced by his coming to Antioch instead of remaining in Jerusalem and Judea per the accord. Paul now comes to the point of why he related the history and outcome of his interaction with Peter, the rest of the twelve and James the Lord's half-brother as he turns again to specifically address the Galatian believers. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? This only would I learn of you, received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Galatians 3 verses 1-2 Let's dig in. It is again important to understand the why of Paul's history lesson, thus far. In this, Paul has effectively shown that the, another gospel, which was, not another, of Galatians 1 verses 6-7 was Israel's gospel of the kingdom and the anticipated new covenant, Jeremiah 31 verses 31-34, which Jesus had entrusted to Peter, Matthew 16 verse 19 with its promises of the law written on their hearts. Now with Christ's revelation of the mystery to Paul along with the associated gospel of the grace of God, by the time of the Galatian epistle, Paul's gospel of the grace of God was the only gospel of salvation to both Gentile and Jew alike. And yet Paul has noted of the Galatian believers, there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ, referring to what kingdom gospel-believing and following Jews in the region of Galatia were attempting to teach the Galatians, again contrary to the Jerusalem Council Accord. So, with the preface of the Galatians 1 and 2 history lesson, Paul's two related questions of the Galatian believers are. 1. Question number 1. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth, crucified among you? Of course, though not by name. Paul has already related the who that had bewitched you, but Paul here points out the result of the bewitchment has been the failure of the Galatian believers to continue to obey the truth, and Paul reminds the Galatian believers that there was no excuse for this failure as Paul had clearly shown them the results of the crucifixion and the accomplishments of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3-4. 2. Question number 2. Founded upon the first question, the second continues, This only would I learn of you, received ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. And this question is one that Paul will continue to ask and answer throughout the balance of the Galatian epistle. The Galatian believers obviously already knew the answer to this question as their basis of their salvation in simple belief of the gospel by grace through faith, was all too clear. But one cannot be reminded of this too many times as it is foundational for everything. And it is so very important that the believer understand Paul's reasoning behind the second question. Namely that there was now only one way by and in which the Holy Spirit was received and this by, the hearing of faith, obviously, by the wording of the second question, this was not always the case. For the terms of receiving the Holy Spirit under the kingdom gospel, was first repentance, changing the mind and believing slash faith that Jesus of Nazareth was Israel's promised Messiah, leading to salvation. Thereafter, by the requirements of the law regarding becoming a kingdom of priests, the obedience of faith was to be water baptized, after which the kingdom believer was filled with the Holy Spirit in order to be witnesses of him and work the miraculous signs as evidence of such, for the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22. Paul will continue with this line of thought as we look to Galatians 3 verses 3 to 5, tomorrow. Believer, understand the things that differ between, by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study. 